York City. It's the Wendy Williams Show. Okay, let's get started. It's time for. Come on. like I'm 19. I thought that this period thing was over with me. Do you know what I'm saying? No, but I don't have a period. I'm just saying I got the crampulation. Like why? And then Joni who mics me up, she's like, well, what'd you have for breakfast? I said, hot potato chips and tuna fish. She was like, well, no wonder. Anywho, hi. So Nicki Minaj is married. Look, um, there are some naysayers who say, why did you marry this guy, Kenneth Penny, Petty? So she's Nicki Minaj Petty. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, she announced the news on her Instagram last night by showing the Mr. and Mrs. Muggs and the bride and groom hat. So we are to assume she's married. But I understand why she married him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she's known by all the world at this particular point in her life. She's the biggest thing going. And sometimes when you're the biggest thing going, you wanna have a, a safety blanket, a comfort zone, and that would be somebody that you grew up with. You know, he, was, he maybe wasn't your boyfriend back then. Maybe you just had rock fights and stuff. You know how we get started, <laughs> girls. I used to love to have rock fights with the boys. Because, because although I'm not a tomboy, I used to like to hang around with the boys because that's how you get to know the boys, you know. Um, so maybe he was like her rock fight partner or something like that. But I think that she probably will start a family right away. And can you imagine a burgeoning belly with these burgeoning hips? I mean, the plastic of it all, you know what I mean? And she's gonna have a big belly, and she's short, and she's got the boobs and the hips. And I don't know what he does for a living. I just know that he did time in jail for, um, he's a sex offender. Yeah. Well, she's no stranger to that, because her is in jail for? Sex offending. For sex offending. Well, first degree manslaughter. Now, he served seven years in prison, and he's also a sex offender, so that means that he, is a manslaughter a killer? Oh, that's okay, so he's a killer and, and a sex offender. Well, Nikki, congratulations. <laughs> Somebody other than the chief made this tea. And it's really hot. Yeah. I can barely touch the cup, ow, <laughs> ow. Uh, Meghan Markle, everybody, says that she was warned not to marry Prince Harry. Mm. You know who warned her? Some hating ass girlfriend of hers. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you meet a prince and your friend's gonna tell you not to marry? Get out, or, or Meghan's lying to try to give sympathy, you know, for us to give her sympathy. Anyway, to, yeah, and the weird thing about this interview that she did, she's standing up the whole time. Like, there's no chair, there, there, there's no shade. Like, she's standing the whole time in a trench coat interviewing. So it's kind of awkward. Anyway, take a look. I had no idea, which probably sounds difficult to understand here, but when I, um, when I first met 
my now husband. My friends were really happy because I was so happy, but my British friend said to me, I'm sure he's great, but you shouldn't do it because the British tabloids will destroy your life. And I very naively, I'm American, we don't have that there. What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. I'm not in tabloids. I didn't get it. Yes, you did. <laughs> you knew exactly what you were doing. And I applaud her plotation on the royal situation. <laughs> but please, don't try to garner sympathy from us. You knew what you were doing. By the way, your friend is a hater. And so whoever told you that, if someone in fact told you that, she needs to be dismissed. Yeah. And, and yeah, yeah. And I feel like, I feel like, you know, this couple, first of all, you know, with William and Kate, they are grooming because he's gonna be the king and she's gonna be the queen and the kids are gonna be the royals like that. Harry and Meghan have nothing to lose by moving to America. Oh. Yeah. Why not? I mean, move to America, you know, and live part-time in Africa like you want to do. You have to still go back to England. The thing about moving to America is you're really kicking the royal thing out of your life. So have a place in all three places. Have a mansion in Malibu, a, 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 a big hut, you know. <laughs> or I've never been to Africa, I don't know. But, or a big hotel or wherever you're gonna live in Africa. And then have your royal palace esque type place in England. I mean, I like them. I, I really do like them, but her, there's something about her. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know what, um, girl, um, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, don't be surprised that the paparazzi are everywhere. Of course, because you're now a royal. They weren't following you when you were on suit, we didn't even know who you were, <laughs> except, except when you came for employment here at Wendy and wanted to be one of our runway models. I've told this story before. Do I need to go into it again? Yes! All right, well, <laughs> once upon a time, there was an innocent girl named Megan, and she wanted to be a runway model here at Wendy. And Suzanne? Yeah, well, she, she wanted to be an expert. Tell it! Okay. So she called up our talent department. She called our lovely bookers, Carrie and Siobhan, and she said, I'm Mar Meghan Markle from Suits, and we were there. Right. I was like, what? Tell it. She said, I'm really into fashion. Go. I would love to come to your show and be a fashion expert and do the runway and all that stuff. And they said, all right, we'll come by our office. We'll meet with you. And she was actually in the office. Yep. Not this one right here, but across the street. We got two buildings on the block. This is my block. Yep. So she. <laughs> Go ahead. She came in. She sat down and they met with her mm -hmm. and they talked with her. I about do believe what she... that we even have a picture, except it's not ready right now. We oh. have a picture of her oh. standing in the Wendy building across the street. Oh, yeah. oh yes, really? it's somewhere I... in the still store. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, so then, yeah. So she wanted to be on the show. They chatted with her, and they thought that she'd be perfect to come here right. and do it. And then, by the time we decided to book her, she was already engaged. Yup. That's all I'm saying. Yup. We are involved with everything around here. Yep. But here's the thing. Like, every celebrity has their own relationship with the paparazzis, whoever they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, yesterday, the paparazzi was outside of this building, our studio, waiting for me. And, uh, no, no, well, here's what happened was. No, right? This is such a staged photo, I could tell you exactly what happened, okay? <laughs> I'm leaving the studio, I got my little Birkin going on, and I had a tote bag, I love a tote bag, they carry everything, it's a big giant one. So James and I are walking out, you know James. So James and I are walking out of the studio, <laughs> and the paparazzi guy was there. Now mind you, I left like two hours after the show was over. Sometimes I like to do that to trick them, so then they just go away. By the way, they follow me, it's not my fault.
been a hell of a year. So anyway, so me and James walk out of the studio and James is in front and you know, we put the stuff in the back. And my award, of the, the uh, not award, my achievement, the star, was in the tote bag though. It was in the tote bag. No, right? So the paparazzi guy, he's taking pictures. I'm like, hi, you know, I have a relationship with them. They've got to feed themselves as well. I get what they do. So I cooperate with them like, okay. So, so he goes, Wendy, can I have a picture with you with your star? And I said, no, it's in my tote bag. And in the bag, there was a whole bunch of crap. Like, a, you know how a tote bag is. You know, and then you have your handbag. So I had the handbag, he had the tote bag. We put everything in the car. But the paparazzi guy was so nice. And I understand the job that they have to do. Just like hopefully you understand the job that I have to do. So, so I go to the guy. I said, all right. I'll get the damn award and then I'm gonna go, James, you just stay right here and I'm gonna go back in the building and then we're gonna count you down. Five, four, three, two, one. And yeah, this is so staged. <laughs> I, I, gave, I gave him what he wanted and you know, that's the way it is. But Meghan Markle, nobody feels sorry for you. You knew what you were signing up for, girl. <laughs> Teresa and Joe from Jersey? They're doing an interview, the first one ever, with Andy on Sunday night. Oh. Now look, we've got to watch this together in my head. We've got to watch this together, all right? Joe will do it from Italy. I don't know whether Teresa's gonna be in the studio with Andy. All I'm saying is, in our Hot Topics morning meeting, they found it odd that Teresa is not in Italy with him right now. I said, for what? <laughs> this is not break for the kids from school. You know, the, the kids are in school, she lives in Jersey, and yeah, they can have a nanny take care of the kids while she goes over there, but you know, this is indicative of a woman who apparently doesn't wanna be married anymore. In my mind, in my, in my mind, in my mind. Your husband's been deported, you've got four children together, you both did crimes, and you both did the time. It, it, either this is gonna bring you together, right? Or separate you totally. And the idea that she's not there with him yet, to me says, I think these people are gonna get a divorce, which is well-deserved for Teresa. Teresa is still beautiful. Teresa is a bodybuilder. Teresa still is juicy. Oh. Teresa, she's had all of her girls. She doesn't have to worry about kids anymore. She meets a nice man who already has his kids and they look good together to take her out and squire her around. I say divorce. I mean, that's what it's there for, isn't it? So, so yesterday, Joe spoke out briefly in Italy to Bravo, The Dish. The Daily Dish is what he spoke to. Bravo's The Daily Dish, that's a show on Bravo. Uh, listen to him talk, observe how he looks, and then we'll talk, go ahead. Life. It's always better to look through the windshield and not through the rear view mirror, you know? It's a much bigger picture when you're looking through the windshield. But at the end of the day, people make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, all right? But I've learned a valuable lesson from all this. And uh, I know my family, you know, is the most important thing to me. But, uh, you know, it's better that I'm out here than in there. And I just wanna let you know that I love yous and, you know, I'm always here for yous. <laughs> Apparently, Joe has been spending a lot of time at the papyrus store. Life, it's better through the windshield. <laughs> anyway, so Joe lost 50 pounds in prison. By the way, it, it, yeah, it's nice that he lost the 50 pounds, but maybe a little filler right here. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, a, just a little filler. And maybe not a full wig, but a partial. <laughs> Just... This is what, like, like as you know, as you can see, I've gained a few pounds in a good way, you know. But I just, I just feel like. <laughs> um, 
and you know what? And I like it. Yeah. I feel like, like I feel like when you get older, you're not supposed to be so thin. Right. Otherwise, you know, you start to like things start to happen. You know what I'm saying? Although I am in the process of getting rid of this right here. <laughs> no, honey, my dermatologist has this machine. And look, it tightens all this in the name of Paula Abdul. I, I, and I, I'm not doing what Paul is doing, but I'm doing something right here. So as I'm filling out, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> go away. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I go every Monday at two o'clock. Yeah, I, well, I bought a five pack, but then you get a bonus. Now I have a six pack. Right, so I've gotten it done twice. So in the next four weeks, you're gonna see me um, when I go like this. Mm-mm, mm-mm, tuck that all the way back up. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Well, all I'm saying though is that he lost 50 pounds, good for him. He's also very flexible. Can we show that footage? Yeah. All right, show. Uh huh. Look at him go. Look at him. No, that's talented. That's not funny. That's good. Look at him go kicking and stuff. What the Bruce Lee is going on? Look, it's called Joe and Teresa Unlocked. It airs Sunday night, 8 p.m. on Bravo. Tuck this all the way up. And if it all works out, I'm gonna show you the machine. That's a, yeah, I'll show you, I'll share with you, I don't mind. Jesus. So Felicity Huffman is pissing off the inmates in the prison. Now she's only there for two weeks and they're already fuming because she's allowed to have her husband and her daughter visit over the weekend, this past weekend, right? By the way, why is she near a car? Why wouldn't she just get in the car and drive off? (laughs) Anyway, so they say normally, uh, good morning prisoners, by the way. (laughs) How you doing? Normally, visitor approval is like a few weeks. You can't just say, my husband and daughter are coming, and then they just show up. Do you know what I mean? Clap if you're familiar with this in the audience. Oh. Oh. James, cover me. Cover me. (laughs) That was a trick. (laughs) James. Well, she shouldn't have her daughter and husband visit. It's only two weeks. You know what I'm saying? It's only two, like, I wouldn't want my family to see me in that particular condition, just because I just wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like, I do this this two weeks, I don't want my husband to see me like that, I wouldn't want want my kid to see me like that. When I was locked away in the halfway house in um, Queens, my family actually came because he invited them, and I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing? I don't want my family to see me in no windows and no ceiling and, and, and no TV laid up here plotting. <laughs> like, no, no, word to Herb, word to Herb. I was like, it was like the lowest point. Like, how are you gonna, and then my son visited and sees his mother, you know what I'm saying? Like all away plotting. It was. <laughs> Thank you, Brendan. You know, Brendan. Yeah, I know, I got, I got Coming into work, trying to make people smile for an hour, and then going back there, my parents sitting there wondering what is wrong with me. Like, you don't want people to visit you in prison. To me, to me, you go to prison, you can't have Facebook, you can't have, anything but bread and water. You do your time and then that's that. And I wasn't in prison, but it was like prison. I needed that environment to plot. (laughs) People screaming in the middle of the night. Oh, please, believe me you. The book I'll never write. (laughs) Anywho. Uh, So Tupac Shakur is alive. 
and arrested for drug possession <laughs> and pulling a knife on the cops. Now, look, before you show the picture, let me just set up the story. All right, so Tupac Shakur is 40 years old and he had the drugs and he had the knife and he pulled it on the cops. <coughs> it was in... <coughs> <laughs> no, really, his real name is Tupac Shakur. And this all happened in Tennessee. He's 40 years old, there's Tupac Shakur. That's his real name. <laughs> Look, just a little something funny to round off hot topics. We got more great show for you, everybody. Thank you so much for watching today. Up next, the stars of Tyler Perry's new drama, The Oval, are here. So grab a snack and come on. are starring in the, as the president and the first lady in Tyler Perry's new drama. It's called The Oval. It's quite juicy. Take a look. Mind the door, will you? Yes, sir. Where do you want me? On your knees. Ma'am. Move away from the door. Ma'am, I can't do that. You're the president. What the hell is this world coming to? <laughs> You're a beautiful couple. <laughs> <laughs> I want that I, for Hot Topics. <laughs> Wendy. Yes, what? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Congratulations on your star. Yeah. No, I, I, Pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Right? And thank you. You're welcome. Thank okay, you. I want to give you guys simultaneous shoe cam. Okay. Put oh. your feet on those feet. We like to look at the shoe. There you go. Nice. <laughs> I love the detail at the bottom of your pants. If you don't mind me asking, I don't want to be cheesy, but no. th th was this a fortune? You know what? A designer in Atlanta, his name is Bionbi. Okay. He designed this for me. It's and beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. It. Thank you. Ed. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you married? I am. Oh. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> <laughs> I love the premise of the show. Yeah. Please talk about it. I mean, so he's cheating on you, mm -hmm. wildly, mm -hmm. and he's the president. A whole hot mess. Well, who is that whore? <laughs> e exactly, who is that whore? <laughs> Look, do you cheat on him? Well, you'll have to watch to find out. Well, tell, <sighs> tell okay, Ed, is yeah. this your first term in office or your second? It is, this is basically us arriving, the, the pilot is, is the inauguration, and it is us arriving at the White House, and the whole show is sort of the upstairs, downstairs of the White House, the staff that run it, a new first family's coming in, a wonderful first family is leaving, mm -hmm. and the new first family coming in is a little volatile. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well to start, you're a mixed couple. Yes. So, do we deal with that on the show? You know what? Not really. At no. all. It's yeah. kind of a beautiful thing. Tyler, I think, just wanted it to just sort of be. Yeah. And so there's no bell on it. It's never really brought up. It's right. just, this is just who we are and kind of the- Do, do you, do you, yeah. right? Yeah. Kayron, is it true that, am I saying it right, by the way, Kayron? It's Kayron. Kayron, mm -hmm. okay. Where are you from? Detroit. Okay, okay. we love the D. <laughs> um, I heard that this is your first big acting it break. Is. And you're in your 40s. So, Girl. Well, no, 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 I mean, a age is relative. Yeah. Yeah. It is relative to the conversation right. because you stuck it out and now you got your first big role. Right, well, just barely because I quit every other day because there, you know, there's so much rejection in this industry. You know, I went and got my, my, yeah, my real estate license really? last year because I didn't know if it was gonna happen for me and so I'm like, I gotta focus on something else and as soon as I got my license, I just started booking and this came around and so 
I am elated. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah. And Ed, you started out as a model? I did, yeah. Uh -huh. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Hot boy summer, right? <laughs> that was my first. That was my first photo shoot in Los Angeles, actually. Really? Um, yeah, no, I was at Berkeley, and a photographer. I was surfing Ocean Beach, San Francisco. A photographer came up to me, and I was about to go do a. Um, I was about to start at Coldwell Banker in commercial real estate, and all of a sudden, I got a phone call. You've been booked into the shows in Paris and Milan. Can you get there? And I was like, <laughs> uh, I think so. And you know, my, my parents said, like, "How long are you going for?" I go, "I don't." Oh, a couple of weeks, maybe. I was there for seven months. Where are you from? I'm from Berkeley, actually. My father was a professor at Cal, uh -huh. and, um, and I went to Berkeley, and uh, yeah. Wow. Good for you. And how long have you been married? 14, no, 11 years. Do you have children? I do, two. Yeah. Girls, boys, what? Little boys. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you? Sweet. Just to this man right now. <coughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so you're wildly single? Well, and I don't know very, wildly. And now very successful? <laughs> Gratefully, I'm, I'm very successful now. So, <coughs> excuse me, were you at the opening of the, the Tyler studio? Yes, yes, that was absolutely incredible. Yeah, my mom was my date. Yeah, yeah she ha she's had a rough year, so, yeah, well, you know. Yeah. And um, she's had a rough year, and oh my, yeah, oh. yeah, and she, was able to fan out and do all the stuff that I wanted to do, but I couldn't because it was kind of work of a work event. So, you know, she sees these uh, celebrities. You didn't she, fan out when you saw Whoopi or the Clintons I mean, or anything? I mean, a little bit. It's just like inside, I'm just like, but she, my mom, she's just, <coughs> she sees Taraji, she's just like, Cookie! And I'm like, and she sees, oh, uh, she sees Oprah, Oprah! And so it was, it was, it was amazing. We got to meet so many How wonderful people. How was the food? People. Oh my God, it was fabulous. Yeah, I it was ate fabulous. so food. Yeah, I ate cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is it shooting? Because I heard Tyler built a White House. That, there it is, right there. Yeah. He built a White House in the studio. The yeah. only one in existence. Yeah, when we yeah. started, really? when I first came and met Karen, it was a dirt lot. And then, you know, he bought Fort McPherson, the, the Army base, 330 yeah. acres, and he started building this replica of the White House. And we watched That's it really beautiful. as we started production, and, and it just basically came to fruition, and the next thing you know, we were filming in it. Right, and we feel like we've been woven into the fabric of the history of his studio. Yeah. Now, because, you know, that's our home. Yeah, and Tyler yeah. Tyler comes to the studio seven days a week, and on weekends he would come, he'd be shooting all week long, mm -hmm. and he would still be there doing stuff nice. on the weekends, and he would take us to the, um, as it was being built, I think he wanted us to feel like we really belong there, yeah. Yeah. and it was part, so once we started filming, it sort of became our home. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. So, um, we have a clip of you guys fighting. Ooh, physically fighting. Like they're volatile to each other. Would you look at this? So now, is that a stunt double from behind and then they just show you from the front? Karen, are you actually fighting with Ed? Uh, we actually did both. this, uh, both. Yeah. Well, what happened was, um, it was my first day of shooting. Okay. So imagine your first day on set and you're in these Louboutins and in a slip nighty. Yeah. And, and you're, the director turns to you and says, like okay, um, we want you to just get down. And the, <laughs> and the stunt double, she, she went for it and he turns to me and says, well, how much of that can you recreate? Oh. And I said, roughly none of it. He's like, <laughs> let me see what you can do. And I did it. I went yeah. for it. Yeah. 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 Well, I have to tell you, the show looks Jew who 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 see. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. The Oval premieres tomorrow night at 9 on DET. And Ask Wendy is next. Yeah. Except for you, hi, birthday girl. How you doing? Hello. How are you doing, Wendy? Fine, thank you. Come on out. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's not my birthday, but I just wanted to wear the crown. You know what? <laughs> Good for you. Thank you. A girl after my own heart. Yes. So now, what's your name? Where are you from? And what do you do? I'm Jackie. I'm from Indiana, but I live here, and I'm a podcast producer. Okay. Now, how can I help you, Jackie? So my cousin's trying to set me up with her friend. The, fr the friend is in Jamaica, Queens, and my cousin's in Indiana. So she connected us via social media. Okay. And he's already reached out to me, and he sent me a bunch of messages. So I thought that was weird. I got a creepy vibe, so I told him I wasn't interested. My question is, how do I talk to my cousin about it without hurting her feelings? You just did. You're on TV. <laughs> Taken care of. Thank you. Taken care of. 
Um, yeah, you know, just tell your cousin you don't want to be set up and you also don't want a long distance relationship. Just make that excuse. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because a long distance re relationship is not going to work. How old are you? 24. Yeah, she's 24 in New York. <laughs> what do you need with a boyfriend all the way in Indiana? No, no, he's in Jamaica, Queens. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, that's still a commute. It is, it is. It is. Yeah. Where do you live? Uh, Upper East Side. Yeah, see, that's still a commute. Can't do it. No, <laughs> just tell your friend or your cousin very nicely. Yay, cute. All right? Yes. Good luck. Thank you. Well, you having a good time? Having a great time. How you doing? How you doing? My what? name is Jill. I'm from New Jersey. My what do you son. Do? Oh, I'm a caretaker. Okay. My son's getting married for the second time this summer. Okay. And he kind of told me that his friends are going to be roasting him a little bit about the first marriage. Okay. I'm not comfortable with that. And so I don't know. Should I say something to his friend? Should I just. Keep quiet, I'm a big mama bear. Don't hurt my cubs. Okay, <laughs> roasting them at the wedding, like when one gives like a toast and- Rehearsal they... dinner, I don't know what's gonna go down at the wedding reception, I don't want anything. <laughs> Talk to the friends. You yeah. call the chief of all the friends or else you call all the boys together yeah. and, and individually tell them. You know, I get the first wedding was a joke, but well. let's not talk about that. <laughs> she, he's now getting married again and doesn't need to be reminded of that now and especially not in my presence. Thank you. You know what I'm saying. Thank you. Good luck. It's easy. Oh, wait, oh, 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 okay now. What is this, uh, latex, uh, leather, rubber? What are we doing leather. here? Leather yeah. and a crown. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh-huh. Straightening your teeth with the braces. You got the long <laughs> lashes on. Where are you going? I'm going out later. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, so what's your name? Oh. My name is Vanessa, and um, how you doing, Wendy? How you doing? <laughs> and where are you from? What do you do? I'm from New York, and I'm a lash tech. Oh, yeah. that explains the lashes. Yes. So how can I help you, Vanessa? Um, yes, my question is, um, I have a best friend. She has a boyfriend, but she doesn't know her boyfriend is cheating on her. How yes. do you know? Oh, I went out the other night, and I saw him with another girl dipping and dancing, and I thought that was it but I saw him with another girl, different girl, at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. my question is, should I? Did he see you? No, I was hiding. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. So, yes. Perfect. Yeah. How long have you been friends with your friend? Okay, we've been friends for over five years now. Okay. Yes. So sh I wanted to know, should I let her know or should I just mind my business and well, stay out of it? Uh, well, no, exactly. You know what? Thank you, co-host. Here, here's my thing. I used to say stay out of grown people's business, except if people told me stuff, maybe I would have known stuff. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, you tell her. Yeah. And, and guess what? <laughs> yep. Tell her and be prepared to lose her friendship. If she stays with him, she's, she's not gonna be friends with you. She's gonna call you a hater and all kinds of stuff. But you tell her right after the show. Okay, yeah. good. Happy birthday again. Thank you. More Ask Wendy is next. <laughs> More Ask Wendy. Everyone have a seat, except for you. Oh, oh, okay now. Wow, I love the bottom of your pants. And yeah, your cuffs and stuff. Who are you? How you doing? How you doing? I'm India. I'm from DC. Ooh, that's a good piece. I'm a wig designer. It's a your wig designer? Yeah. Yeah, you designed the hell out of that one. Uh, thank you. So how can I help you, India? So my sister kind of had a hot girl summer this summer. Okay. She was messing around with like three guys. And now okay. she's pregnant. Oh. And we don't know who the father oh. is. So my advice, or well, my question to you is, how do I uh, advise her without judging her? Is it your little sister or big sister? My older sister. Damn, that this hurts even more. This is her first pregnancy. And she doesn't know who the father is. Well, she only messed around with three guys. Only three, right? <laughs> so what she needs to do is visit each guy. <laughs> now, is she showing yet? No. Perfect. Here's the plot. <laughs> She is going to visit each guy 
and take their toothbrushes. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. And you get that DNA <laughs> test done so that, so that you don't, she doesn't look whorish when yeah. she goes back and says, who's the father, who's the father, who's the father? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So she was using no protection, just screwing hot around. Girls, hot girls, No, hot girls don't <laughs> do that. She was hot, hot. <laughs> hot. Hot stupid. <laughs> but that, that, that's <sighs> the thing. The thing is, is that you need the DNA test. And the best way to do it is to grab the toothbrush. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that doesn't even require her going out for dinner with them or anything. Mm -hmm. Just go over to the house. See what I'm saying, birthday girl? Yes. Go over to the house. <laughs> you grab that toothbrush, put it in a Ziploc bag, Okay. Mark the name. Okay. All right. <laughs> then, then do the same with the next, okay? Okay. All right. And do it before she starts showing. Okay. Now you're on TV, so now they know that your sister is pregnant <laughs> by three different guys. They don't know which one. Okay. Well, which neither does she. <laughs> Grab the toothbrushes. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Oh, God. How terrible. How terrible. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? I'm, I'm not sure. Did you hear that? <laughs> yes, I did. Who are you? My name is Dorota. I'm from Ridgewood. Dorota? Dorota. Oh, Dorota. Yeah. Hi, Dorota. How you doing? I'm from Ridgewood, New Jersey. New York. New York, okay. And what do you do? Um, I work in the finance department. Okay, how can I help you? Well, I have major mom guilt. Uh-oh. Yeah. Don't we all? Oh, we do. Um, I'm a full-time working mom. Uh, how old are the kids? One and 11. Wow. Thanks. Same guy? <laughs> same guy, same daddy. Okay, same okay. Daddy. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, the one year my... old was oops. <laughs> no, it was actually the 11 year old was an oops. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> the one year old we planned. Okay. Uh, so I have this major guilt because I'm working all the time, I'm doing all this overtime, and all my mama friends are telling me of all the activities they do with their kids, and I I'm missing out on mine. So tell me, I know you're a full, you know, full time. He's mom. 19. He's a grown man now. Yeah, but I'm so yeah. glad those years are over. <laughs> Stupid kids' activities and for the Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Stupid birthday parties. Like, ugh. So tell me, ugh. Wendy, how did you manage being a full time mom and a full time career at the same time? Well, apparently not very well. If you've read the headlines. <laughs> oh, I don't listen to the headlines. Well, well, you need to. No, they're not true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, motherhood is not something that somebody else can tell you how to do. You do the best that you can. And, and you know, and people say put your kids first. Sometimes put your kids first. But remember, without a you, there would be no them. So take care of yourself and don't listen to your mom friends and you know, they're going to see the new movie with their kids and you know, who cares? You spend time with your kids the best way you can. Okay? And, and the, the guilt never goes away. It Thanks. never goes away. Good luck, DeRosa. DeRosa. Uh, we'll be right back. Ketchup in my hair, though. Here. Girl. This is Brenda, everybody. Brenda, how you doing? How you doing, Wendy? Okay, don't let that catch in your hair or mine. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and Brenda is a survivor from Jersey. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you. So, where were you when you found out, and how long have you been surviving? In 2016, I found a lump on my left breast. When you were in the shower? When I actually after I was working out. Okay. I found the lump. Jesus. I didn't think anything of it, uh -huh. so I just kind of ignored it. But then I went to, it started hurting, so I went to the doctor. How long before you went to the doctor? It, probably a couple weeks. Okay. Because I completely ignored it. It started it. hurting. Yeah, it started hurting. Okay. And I went to the doctor, he said, go get a biopsy, because of my age, I was 36 at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, went to the biopsy a week later, I found out I was on stage two breast cancer. Oh, wow. Yeah. So um, they treated you aggressively? Yes. Mm -hmm. So after that, I was in complete shock, but I was more worried about my daughter and surviving. How old is she? She's seven now. She was four at the time. Okay. Yeah, so I was more concerned about her and how I was going to survive. So I ended up um, getting double mastectomy, okay. and I went through chemotherapy. Did you go mm. bald-headed? Yes, I went completely bald, and I loved it. Oh, you have a nice shaved head. Yes, I loved being bald. And a year after that, I won my first bikini competition. Wow! Wow, what a body! Yes, thank you. 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 Th
Thank you. Well, thank Brenda, you. tell us about your outfit because you are our eye candy. Oh, thank Along you. Along with a survivor. Thank Happy you. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Yes, so okay. I brought you the Halloween blazer. Uh -huh. It cost me about 30 bucks. Okay. And then I got my leggings, a little shine, a little metallic. And the animal and then print shoes. And my animal print because I know you like it. Love animal it. Print. Love it. Animal Listen, Brent, along with your diva fan, yes. we're going to give you a $300 gift card to yes. spend anywhere you want. Yes. We'll be right back. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Show. Let's meet our player. What's your name? Where are you from? And what do you do? I'm Nikki from Lyon. How you doing, Wendy? How you, you got a perfect blow straight. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> you did that for the show? I, I did. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> what do you do? I work in a casino and I'm a cashier. A perfect. Okay. So we're gonna play Name That Show. This is so easy, Nikki. If you don't get this, I'm gonna hit you with my microphone. <laughs> really? Let's see the photo. Don't help her. What? How old are you? Can I have one hint? No. <laughs> no, I have hints all over this card. I'm not going to give Who's you a Who's the boss? Yes! Yay! Nikki, of course. Yay! Dinner for two at Serendipity. Yay! We'll be right back. This messy show is the best invention ever. Yay! I want to thank my guests and my co-hosts, my studio audience. Tomorrow, Tyrese, he's a mess too. He'll be on the couch, copping please, you know. You know how Tyrese is. Black Ty will be here tomorrow. Also, we're gonna show you some drugstore beauty finds. Everything does not have to be a fortune. And we're gonna teach you how to do it. I'm out of breath. <laughs> we were dancing hard during the commercial. I Look, I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye-bye. Nice.